guys welcome to today's video I'm going to show you how I get ready for going out for a meet this is a standard thing that I do so I'm not sure what baby I'm taking usually I have a rough idea like I'll get a new baby so I want to take that baby or I'll get a new pram and I want to take that pram but everything depends because some prams are better for older babies and some prams are better for younger babies or maybe I want to use the bassinet or whatever it is. So it usually depends on if I get the new baby or the new pram and I want to take that out. So I do have a new baby and a new pram and I'm just not sure if I want to do that combination or what I'm going to do. And then there's like other little factors that I have to put into account like where we're going, what we're doing, kind of thing like is that baby suitable, would it be more suitable for another outing, stuff like that. So that's how I plan on going to meets. Okay, so my new baby is my silicon, so she's newborn, she's full body. I think it's going to be like a warmish day tomorrow, so I was thinking like take advantage of her full body and I could put like a little romper on her, but I'm just... I don't know, I don't know. Let's have a look in the drawers and see what we can find in there. Okay, don't mind the body over here. <laughs> this is just where I'm storing. I don't know where to store it, but this is kind of a good spot. It like, it saves it and it doesn't touch anything and you can still see. <laughs> so don't mind that. And I've been making some really cute dummy chains lately and this is the length that I'm using. So that is also why that is there. Let's not worry about those things. <laughs> oh, I got this cute little outfit. So, oh, here's the kicker. Well, I don't know, like I feel like it's Valentine's Day, so I feel like I should do like a Valentine's outfit. It's Valentine's Day in like two days or something. By the time I post this, it would have well and truly been done. But as of right now, it is in a few days. So I thought red, but these are pink. I don't have anything red. But this was actually, when I opened the drawer, what I remember. This is the cutest little thing ever. Isn't that so cute? I would love to put that on her. I don't know why I love that so much. Um, okay, I don't really have much red, so my next option would be white. That is a good option. Um, I've got this little romper, but I did have that on another baby the other day, but it is such a cute little romper. I feel like we could do it twice, you know? Back in a, a little bit of time. No, I've already done these. I should show you down here, shouldn't I? Okay, this is like red and white with apples. It's kind of cute, but it's not my favorite thing. I don't know, I always like think it's gonna be cuter than what it is. And I'm like wanting that body, I don't know, suit kind of thing. Like these, but they're the wrong color because we're wanting red. And if we don't have red, I think white would be a good option so the girls have said that it's going to be like rainy tomorrow like a 90 percent chance of rain or something like that so i'm going to take a capsule i think just so that you can pack it up and get it in the car as quick as possible if it does start like pouring on us which leaves me the donkey which is i feel like if it's raining and i have to chuck it in the car one i won't want to get it wet two i won't want to scratch it so I feel like the donkey's definitely out. <laughs> the Cybex can't have a maxi cozy capsule on it. Sorry, I'm just in the room like going around them. <laughs> um, the Nuna is definitely a contender. The Versa is a contender. The new pram that I got can't take a capsule, so that's not a contender. The City Select is too big and bulky, so I don't want to take that either. So it's basically the Versa or the Nuna. Easy. <laughs> I found this really cute dress and I kind of think I really want to put this on her. It's a Peter Rabbit dress and it has little pink roses on it. I hope you can see that. I don't know if it's focused really well, but it's very cute. So there's the little Peter Rabbit logo there. So I think I want to do that because it's like roses, Valentine's. Uh, it's just not red, it's pink. So we'll do that. I think that's perfect. And I'll put these other outfits away that I didn't go with. And now I'll get her dressed and then we'll go from there. This baby scares the out of me. <laughs> that's why she's up here all on her own. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so heavy. Oh my 
my gosh. Okay. Press her nicely. Oh my gosh. Oh no, she's got fluff on her. I haven't even touched her. Ugh, what's all this fluff? Get off. Okay, I have touched her. I put this outfit on her when we were doing like the olden theme outfits. But still, not enough to get like fluff on her. I think this is really cute already. Why are you so heavy? Oh my god, you make me nervous. Uh oh. Ah, finger. Mm. That actually fits her so nicely. How are you supposed to do this for the real baby? You can't just lay them on their side, can you? <laughs> to do their buttons up. Is this not uncomfortable for a baby to have like a tie on their back? Surely it would be. No one enjoys that. Okay, this is 1,000 percent, pardon me, this is definitely a pink bow kind of dress. Okay, where, what is the correct hair bow? <laughs> I do like that a lot. I like that as well. Big or small? Oh my gosh, what do I do? Do I just take both? Small. Small it is. Small. I might take the big one along. Dang it, what way does the headband go now? It has a way, don't worry. They sit like forwards or backwards, it's weird. Oh, she needs a dummy. So I just picked this one out. Sometimes she takes a full, and sometimes she takes like a modified. That's actually not too bad. She she hardly takes a full one, but for me, it's like sitting out the tiniest little bit. And sometimes babies like push their dummies out a little bit. All right. Oh my gosh, I feel like I've got this like beautiful little baby girl. She's in like a pink dress with a pink bow and like. <laughs> little soft beautiful hair this is so cute now I don't know if that bow's right I'm gonna put her in a car seat and see how that goes all right do I do a pink car seat or a black car seat <laughs> this is extreme oh my gosh because I've obviously lost my brain or something I've just been filming without light the whole time I am so sorry <laughs> but on that thought wave, I also remembered that I had these little bloomer penny, um, like they go underneath as like a nappy cover. And I figured that they would like go under this. Because you don't normally see them, but it's like a nappy cover. And I think that they would be really, really cute. So let's pop these ones on. I mean, if she didn't have enough pink already, let's just add some more. Wow, they're huge. That is okay, though. There we go. So she's all covered up. So 
So here's the nappy bag. And I will just pop that in. I always unpack my nappy bag every time and repack it. Just like makes it easier. There's some things that I leave in here, but not a lot of things. Okay. I'm definitely going to pack my brush and spray for tomorrow. So I'll put that in one of the side pockets. Okay, I dug my car seat out from in the cupboard. And now I'm going to put her in it. It is the pink one. I decided we would just go all pink. Splash out. Oops, the hood came up. Oopsie daisy. Pop this one back in here. Yep, that's in. So yeah, I decided we would just go all out with that pink theme because she was, she's in a light pink, so I feel like the light pink and the dark pink will go together. Don't mind all these toys here. My toy chain that normally goes up on the wall has fallen down on one side and I have tried to stick it back up, but I cannot get it to work. It just keeps falling off. I tried new tape, I tried a new hook, I tried everything and it's not working, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is like the real life what happens all the time. We've just changed where we're going uh, because of the 100% chance rain, which means I'm not taking a capsule now. I'm going to take my new pram, the Zip. It's a City Mini Zip, which is just like a small compact pram. I will grab it. Oops, there's a wall there. And I think I'm going to go with the pink pram liner. Uh, it's Mini Mouse. And I'm going to have a pink mini toy on there and then I'll put her in there. And I think like just because I think she needs to lie flat versus um, sitting like in a capsule like this. So let's grab her and put her in the pram. Okay, I feel like she looks much better in there. I could put a head support in there, but I feel like it really messes her hair up. But I do think she looks so much better like that. And I might just leave her unstrapped maybe. I'm not sure. Or I might just do like the bottom strap up. It's so big on her. <laughs> now I'm just adding a few little things. Like I added the blanket. I'm going to probably put this pinky bunny on her she's definitely the little baby in pink today i just don't like how this looks but it would look good with the belly bar across there and then of course i want to check how my nappy bag's gonna fit whoopsies and check that it's not going to be a pain and it's not going to fall off and stuff i'm not going to add a caddy to this pram because of how it folds and i usually just pop like my water bottle in here or something if I have that and I can easily access the bag if I need anything in there. Plus I have a basket and it's not too with that on there either which is really good. Well there's like a heavy silicon in there let's be honest. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what else I need. I'm going to take the capsule in the car with me anyways because I like to always put them in something when I'm driving. And I usually cover them over anyways, but that's just my thing that I do.
So I didn't get to finish what I was doing in that video, uh, but I will show you what I packed in my nappy bag. I have a spare outfit, so I've got socks, shoes, that would be a dog, a little pink shirt, and a little overall outfit, like a skirt thing. And I've got um, a warmer blanket, and I put this one in because I wasn't sure um, which head I liked more. That's all I have packed in here for this meet. I ended up making her belly bar for her, but she had to go in the car seat for when she's actually traveling in the car. So I will show you her belly bar that I made as well. Here's the belly bar on the pram that I made. I don't like to leave it folded like that because it puts this, like that's how it would have to be folded. And it puts this crease in it and I really just hate that crease. So I'm gonna leave it like that for when I fold it. It also has the uh, mermaid scales on the other side as well as the cream liner has it on the other side. A few people asked me where I get all my pram liners and stuff from and you guys just saw where you got it from. It's me, I make them. <laughs> all right, that is how I get ready for an outing. We're all packed and ready. Pram's in the car. She's inside in her capsule because I don't ever leave them in the car. I don't want them to get hot and I don't want them, someone else to see them and freak out, <laughs> break my window or something. Um, that's a weird bird that's about all so next week the outing video will be uploaded and i'll see you guys all there thank you for watching bye